The digital transformation is changing the subconscious minds of organizations. Humans increasingly collaborate with robots, artificial intelligence and machine learning, thus forming hybrid intelligences, which have to be integrated in organizations. Why subconscious mind of an organization? Isn't the subconscious something specifically human? It is in fact specific human. Let me give you an example. When I first learned to drive, I was fully and consciously concentrated on driving, on every gear change, use of the indicator, etc. After a relatively short period of time and frequent driving, it started to become automatic and I could turn my attention to other things, talking with my passenger, listening to the radio, etc. My subconscious mind partly took over. Today, we have all sorts of options and assistance available in our cars. Automatic drive, car phone, voice recognition, navigation system, parking sensors, proximity warnings, etc. Now, what is happening in organizations? In organizations, more and more decisions are being assisted with decision support systems, or they are even automated. Collaboration between man and machine gets closer and closer. Hybrid intelligences emerge. Like when you drive, a car is a human. You drive with less effort, having delegated a lot of action patterns to your subconscious mind, and using technology of assistive systems. But when driving in a highly assisted mode, there is one crucial question. Will I also be able to react properly in specific or maybe dangerous situations? Will I even recognize them? There is the same question in an organization. Will I recognize critical situations and developments early enough? How will my organization deal with uncertainty and unforeseeable developments when she's used to automatic decision taking by algorithms, which might be good in routine situations. So it is all about how decisions are taken and what mental or algorithmic models are beneath. The subconscious mind of our organization influences and drives the decisions taken significantly. What is it that changes the way decisions are taken in organizations? Technology changes the cognitive process of individuals as well as of organizations. Cognitive computing already directly addresses cognitive processes which are a privilege of humans until now. Which elements of the cognitive process are changed? Perception is changed by virtual reality, augmented reality, by mixed reality, social media, ubiquitous sensors, drones, and so on. Analysis and interpretations are changed by pattern recognition, real-time analysis, and several forms of artificial intelligence. Decision support and automatic decisions are enabled by artificial intelligence too. Please give me an example for changed perception and decision-making of organizations. I give you an example from healthcare. Let's take perception. An email visit, telemonitoring the weight, the glucose level, blood pressure, uh, data from the pacemaker, from the patients, all that changes the perception and the view of a hospital as organization towards the patient. Let's take the decision side of the cognitive process. The decision can be proposed like everything okay or there is an action required but there is no need to come in the hospital. You just have to change a doses of medication or you immediately send an emergency transport to bring the patient in. I give you another example from industry. Let's look at perception first again. 
Sensors on the gears and motors of a rolling mill are sensing vibrations, noise, temperatures, uh, and the, which follow certain load situations depending from the parameters of the dimensions and steel qualities that are being rolled. The organization and the systems thus perceive differently. When the patterns change, this might indicate upcoming trouble. And the decisions are changed too. The system knows when the bearings uh, have to be changed, exchanged for maintenance reasons. What is the subconscious mind of organizations? Well, the subconscious mind of an organization just serves as a metaphor for the socio-technical construct of an organization. It consists of first the technical infrastructure which enables to organize the subconscious and the conscious behavior driven by digital transformation. Second, the structures and processes of an organization, the formal as well as the informal rules, and finally, the values, attitudes and strategies. The subconscious mind provides a framework to promote and leverage digital transformation in healthcare, in industry and nearly all other kinds of businesses. What is the benefit of applying this metaphor? Routinely, in business and private, we always have to be aware, or should be aware, of how humans think with all the pitfalls but also all the wonderful human abilities as intuition, creativity, innovation, empathy and common sense. Simply apply this on your organization consisting of humans and their behaviors, the organizational behavior as they call it of machines, of infrastructure, of, of artificial intelligence and so on. This helps you and encourages you to detect bias in data and algorithms, especially uh, because algorithms are past tense. Look at it more critically. It helps you as a manager to get a clearer view when you have to intervene in automatic decision making in subordinated organizational units or in hybrid intelligences, or in automated decision-making by algorithms. It helps you how to keep governance, how to stay in the driver's seat as a manager, or in general as humans, while using assistance provided by technology in a sensible way. How can you shape the subconscious mind of an organization? Well, there are many ways to do this. I give you some hints. Provide e-learning, micro-learning and simulation tools as they keep you in shape to assess situations on your own with all your human repertoire. Drill your staff in systems thinking and consistent argumentation. Ensure responsibility and accountability by the single employee. There is a great deal to be done for developing a culture concerning responsibility when you establish or shape collaboration between humans and between humans and machine. I am convinced that only flat organizations will emerge to be successful on the journey through the digital transformation. There are some more guiding principles provided and exemplified in my book, if you want to read. Where will the digital transformation lead us to? We simply don't know where the digital transformation will lead us to. Uncertainty is not vanishing from Earth because we have big data and prediction algorithms and so on. Look at political developments. We are stumbling from crisis to crisis. I know a wonderful picture with a sadly looking dog saying, whenever I knew all the answers, they changed all the questions. That is where we are in. 
Technologies in many fields are in a dynamic phase of their exponential developments. And all at once, it seems. So we need new models of thinking, scrutinizing decision proposals. We have to organize ourselves anew to be able to cope with the challenges posed by the expansional developments in artificial intelligence and so on. The metaphor of the subconscious mind of organizations will help. You spoke about hybrid intelligences. What will be the role of humans in hybrid intelligences? Uh, with the upcoming closer collaboration between man and machines, we see with all kinds uh, of assistive systems, chatbots, decision support systems, robots, moving among people in warehouses, on hospital wards and so on. From this ever closer collaboration, hybrid intelligences will emerge. This will challenge us to stay in the driver's seat in important issues. Machine learning detects patterns of our decisions and actions, will incorporate this in their decision proposals and thus will increase the pressure on us as humans. Where do we want to rely on assistive artificial intelligence? Where do we keep the freedom to stay on our own? What will be the role of the humans in future? I think the basic principle should be people do not serve structures, but organizations, technology and structures serve people. What will be the role of humans in future in general? I'm convinced that repetitive tasks will be taken over by artificial intelligence. Core human abilities like imagination, ingenuity, creativity, adaptability, responsibility, common sense, ethical capacity to feel and communicate empathy and trust, finally the ability to dream and love, will not be emulated in the next two decades. Let us be positive. Artificial intelligence will make human intelligence more valuable than ever. How can I get started in my organization with shaping its subconscious mind? Are there tools? Well, first, apply this metaphor of the subconscious as model of thinking and establish uh, kybernetic and systems thinking by challenging your employees to argue their proposals in this way. And with this in mind, analyze perception and decision-making and in future envisioning the upcoming artificial intelligence and decision tools. And Analyze how your organization is embedded in business and in society and what is going to change. Finally, look for a trigger to get started. Like an adverse event, an obvious need to change your business model and so on. In my book, The Digital Transformation Shaping the Subconscious Minds of Organizations, Innovative Organizations and Hybrid Intelligence, you find some helpful guiding principles supported by lucid stories. Let us make sure that, metaphorically spoken, we stay in the driver's seat and we have established the governance to at least set the direction, as well as to intervene when partly autonomic, autonomous driving takes us the wrong way.